Hello again, YouTube. This is The Truth Man giving you the truth. I'm about to talk some junk right now. But before I do, I want to lay out a few things. Yes, I'm a preacher. Yes, I've been a minister for, um, what, 21 years now, for going on 22 years. But if you're looking for T.D. Jakes, if you're looking for Joel Osteen, you're looking for somebody that is not going to tell you the truth, not going to share what they really thinking or their true feelings, you're in the wrong place. If you're looking for somebody with a glamorous, all these uh, sound effects, all this beautiful videos, man, I don't even know how to do a lot of that stuff. But what I say will help you. And what I say will expose people like I'm getting ready to do right now. On this video, we're talking about these internet courage people and these people who can't bust a great softest tissue, but they out here trying to cuss each other, cut people off, and then cuss them out on the road. So here's what they made me gave me this video idea. So you know how you're looking for something, right? And you ain't doing nothing. You following all the road rules. You paying attention to the road, everything, driving right. But yet these people, these godless people, who their job is their God, their the little material possessions they have are God. So they rush off to work, but about to kill themselves and each other, just to get to work on time. Sometimes it be because it's somebody at work they're trying to outdo. People is all types of evil. Or whatever their reason may be. So, we coming up on the intersection. We on the freeway. Nothing nowhere in sight, right? Turn my signal on. Turn it right. Ready to get off the freeway. I see this car coming from far away full speed probably going 70 miles an hour maybe more if it was ice out here he would have been dead this but for a winter day in the state of wisconsin it's actually not that bad he cuts me off he sees my signal sees that i'm trying to veer to the right to get off the freeway and he comes up next to me, shaking his hand, his finger, pointing at me. Now, mind it, it was kind of funny to me. I wasn't following him. But what I was doing was I was trying to turn around and go down the street that was right there. He starts speeding up like 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 I'm chasing him or something, like, like we're in a high-speed chase. And I'm the police, and he's the, the bum car thief. <clears throat> so I I kind of chuckled about it and it made me think of this video. Listen. We listen, let's so let's start with you ladies. You can't bust a grape. You most of y'all even <clears throat> even the ones that maybe you took martial arts, maybe you know how to fight a little bit, you had a couple fights. But with a man Man strength who knows how to fight, you don't stand a chance. Be cool. Be smooth. If you cut somebody off out here, are you childish? Are you like a rat or something, a raccoon or something? Why do you feel the need with your poor driving, F-rated driving, uh, to, to say something to people? The only time you ever see me saying something to people out here on this road is if they just ridiculous, like, like just about to kill me. I don't even really like to pay too much attention to them because I think me as an adult, if I don't want to think rageful or think violently, because then I'm going to want to take your freaking head off. Like that's, that's just how I, that's how I am. So I don't, I don't like to think like that because I don't want to get in that mindset. Being a man of God, being an adult, 
being a masculine man. I don't want to get in that mindset. But this little dude, he look like he might have been Asian or something. Man, you ain't going to bust no... Gr you couldn't even take one of my punch. You, you, I ain't trying to talk violent, but I'm just going to lay it out here. If I saw his whole body, like I saw he, his truck was bigger than mine, my car. I saw his whole body. Like you feel like you got shot from one shot from me, man. Just keep, learn how to drive and keep moving. Because see, here's the thing too. Like, if you tear my car up, I know in this area, you can't get Kia's fixed. Like, if you if your car get tore up, you, you might as well get another one because it's gone. It's done. They ain't going to be able to get the parts. Nothing because these little uh, poorly raised car thief bums in Milwaukee who don't go to school, don't want nothing positive in their lives, stealing so many cars that if your car get damaged, you not going to get it back for at least six or seven months. That's enough right there to make me grab somebody by the throat. I hate to be inconvenienced, man. Like, it's just, I got too much to do on a regular basis. And, and and when I look at the way some of these people drive out here, it's like if I drove like them, I I would have been in probably like 100 or 200 accidents in my life. A lot of times I just go to the side and just let them go. I just let them go, humble myself, humble myself, humble myself. They driving like fools, they act like it's me. People all in the street high on all types of drugs in the street. People be getting hit by cars a lot here, y'all. Because they be in the street. Then they had a nerve to be drunk and fall in the street. That stuff happens all the time here. And then they get up woozy and bang. Car can't stop. It happens all the time here in this area. So these YouTube guys in these comments, some of the YouTubers even, I can't say who can bust a grape and who can't, but if I was to place a bet, I would say that the ones talking, the, the, the slimiest, the reckless, most reckless, are the softest ones, softest ones. And most of them, on the, like, yeah, I got an icon on my page, but all you got to do is scroll on my videos and you'll see how I look. You'll see how I look. I've rarely got any videos where I'm not showing my face. But these guys, they just act like they just the toughest guys in the, in the history of the world. But yet you can't see their face. And yet you in a car. I mean, imagine this. You get in a car accident. It's completely not your fault. And the other person get out the car trying to cuss you out. See, I'm, I'm a person that thinks things through. And a lot of times I see the other side of things. And one thing I know is that in some cases, people be bringing road rage on themselves. Like if you, like like for instance, here's another thing that happened some years back, right? I um, it wasn't my fault again on this one. This this just wasn't my fault. But to smooth things over. Guy come up on me saying, can't you drive? He doing the same thing as that guy back there that I was telling you about. I said, I looked at him. I said, oh, this dude, he ain't got nothing going. He just want to get into it. So I said, oh, my fault, man. He going to say, yeah, because you can't pay for this. I looked at him. I said, yeah, okay, all right. I pulled off. His car... Look like it probably cost five thousand dollars. 
Nothing against nobody with $5,000 car. But it looked like it cost $5,000. And it's like he trying to get into it. Like, man, do you think I have time to be sitting in the county jail or to <clears throat> be sitting in a prison just to prove a point? <clears throat> if I have to get you, I'm going to be able to justify it and I'm going to get you good. That's just the way it is. Me being a, a correction and corrections, um, you, your goal is to de-escalate situations like I did with him. I said, oh, my fault, man. No. He's still talking. I'm like, okay, whatever. Not fearful of them. Not. See, these guys think because they got guns and because they hanging around 10, 11 people <clears throat> that you're supposed to be scared of them. Now, I'm going to use my brain like if it's 11 dudes surrounding me, I'm going to try to get out of it with words. Now, if they get to beating me up, now I'm going to fight them like it's only one of them. But the key is, number one, stop being internet brave. Internet brave. Stop being road brave. Just learn how to do things the right way. Like, I mean, that's all it takes and you'll stay out of trouble a lot of time. A lot of people be bringing trouble on themselves. Like me, for instance. I know how Milwaukee is. I'm not going everywhere in Milwaukee. Not. I'm not scared of these guys. But a lot of these guys, if, if they try to get you and you get them, now you have a conflict with who knows how many people. And a lot of these people believe in going after your relatives. So what what people going to do? If somebody go after their relatives. What is the average person going to do? Going to go after one of theirs, right? And then you get one of theirs, you get a... This happened. This literally happened. This kid got killed. And the feud is still going on. Like, they say, like, 60 people was got killed because of this one guy, you know, his death, whatever happened. That's how Milwaukee is. That's how it is, like... I say to people, stop being internet brave, stop being road brave. But I also say to other people, pick your battles. Because these people are not dealing with a full deck of cards, man. And you got their cards is somewhere on the other side of the room. They ain't dealing with a full uh picnic basket of food, man. They food ate up. They ain't got a they ain't screwed all the way tight. So pick, you gotta pick your battles. But that dude was a midget, practically. He's a midget, he's a freaking midget, man. Leave for work early, man. You ain't gonna do nothing, man. I'll give you the first five hits with my hands behind my back. That little dude, he had to get lucky. His, I saw his arm, his arm looked like it was about this wide, like, that's why they have weight classes in boxing and MMA. That's why. Because it to make it fair. To make it fair, I mean this Come on now, man. These people out here. Hey look, wait, let me see about this. Okay, you can you see that little car over there? Now, the speed limit is 40. He's got to be going 70. He, and now he's out of sight. <laughs> Y'all got to excuse me. I'm kind of congested. I ain't got COVID. I'm immune to that. But, um, I ain't giving out medical information. I'm sorry, you two. But I don't understand why people can't just be cool, man. That's what's giving all of the stuff that's meant to take the country backwards. Firepower. Because there's a lot of people out here that's not thinking rashly and they can't be smooth. And these same people that can't be smooth, can't think rationally, is going to the polls voting. 
don't be surprised. Like, okay, I'm driving right here. If it's a car accident, I'm going to show you. Because um, it's a very good chance we're going to ride up on a car accident the way these people drive here. It's about me first, me first, me first, me first. What, should I give you some grand crackers? Play duck, duck, goose with some of y'all? Like, man, put you, make you take a nap? This behavior is kindergarten. And then, again, you guys in the comments on YouTube, you gonna talk slimy? You gotta show your face. You gotta show your face. What, what you at work? In a cubicle, you work with all women. They all bullying you. So, it makes you feel more like a man to go on YouTube, Twitter, uh, Facebook, and talk tough. Talk that tough guy talk. And then you come out here, you got road rage. And you the one that ain't driving right. Road bravado. First of all, why, why are you speeding? And then, then this was crazy. You got... DoorDashers, Grubhub, Uber Eat. You got Uber and Lyft people out here, right? This working. School bus drivers, city bus drivers, taxi cab drivers. And these people be going to Chipotle or Pop Belly or a restaurant to get them a sandwich and they driving like that. They got road rage. They driving like that. Man, a lot of these people, like I say, just need to get slapped in their nose like the lion on the Wizard of Oz. And again, 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 let me let me say what I... If you're looking for T.D. Jakes and don't think he don't have no, no negative words or no streak, he just play it off to get this cash. I don't get paid from YouTube. I don't get paid from ministry. I've never got paid. People won't be bringing me money for ministry. I do it for the most high, and I do it because I want to do it. Now, if I get compensated down the line, that's fine. But I ain't going to change how I do it. I ain't going to change how I talk <clears throat> just to be compensated for some ministry. Hey, bless your heart. Oh, I'm not going to talk about anything. I'm not going to talk against poor women's behaviors or anything because I want that tithe. No, that's not who I am as a person. This is not. So again, people, especially women, why are you arguing with God? Y'all know how tall I am? I'm not the tallest guy. But I'm 6'2 and 3 fourths. And with my shoes off, I've been measured with my shoes off, and I still was 6'2. I probably weigh, I done lost some weight, but I probably still weigh like 285. Like, you little guys. You little ladies, come on now. Now, it's not to say that it's not a Bruce Lee, real-life Bruce Lee out there that could give me a run for my money. But by percentages, that little guy with those arms like this, I doubt it, man. I doubt it. I doubt it, especially... Y'all remember Aaron Anderson from wrestling? If, <laughs> I mean, if I fight a guy that small, this, um, I don't want to fight anybody. I know y'all always trying to argue on YouTube and try to twist people's words, but I'm just giving you, I'm proving the point. I'm going to hit him with two shots, get him off balance. And then he's going up in the sky, right around the waist, however I can grab him. 
He's going up in the sky and he's coming down. That's just, hey man, you know. But why though? Why does it have to come to that? I'm driving normal. You drive normal. Keep your mouth shut. Get where you got to go. And then on, on YouTube, if you don't agree with somebody, you have a right to voice your agreement, disagreement. <clears throat> but these people on YouTube, they like to insult. So what am I going to say? <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to say is reveal yourself. You start hurling insults, that's the first thing I'm going to say. Where you at? What you, uh, reveal yourself. Not always because I'm going to try to do anything. I'm rarely ever going to try to do anything. But that's to prove my point that these guys is really soft. And they really cowards. And they need to get saved. Be cool. Be smooth. Respect the people on the road. Respect people that differ from you in opinion on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. TikTok, I call it TikTok. Or wherever else. And that will eliminate a lot of the conflict. But you got you got dragon people, shapeshifters. Yeah, yeah, they, they don't like each other. <laughs> I don't want them to go to heaven because I got kicked out of heaven. I went totally to the left. But people who are awake and do research know what I'm talking about. That's how people is. Man, I'll tell you. Just be cool. Be smooth. Don't be at work. People trying to work. People got kids. They got mortgages. They got bills to pay. Don't be at work have, making people want to quit. Because a lot of y'all, you ain't going to bust a grape. You only talking like that because you at work. And a lot of y'all, and I've experienced it. You got guys that try to play that tough guy role, but they hide behind their relatives and their friends. And they talking tough at work. They not going to talk tough if it's just you and them with no weapons. They not going to do it. They doing it for show. Why don't you find a different way to showcase your talents? And I be looking at these type like, uh, why are you trying to get into it at work? Like, why are you trying to get into it, period? Especially guys that I know hide behind other guys. That as soon as something happened, you on the phone calling somebody. You's a punk. You's a punk. You's a punk. Why can't you just be smooth and get along with people like Rodney King say, uh, you know, can't we all just get along? Can't we get along on the freeway? Can't we get along on YouTube? But no, this these guys start stuff and then they call up their cousin that ain't really got it all. Hey man, I need you to take care of it, man. Man, and you and you and you know what your cousin needs to tell you? Man, you man, I ain't doing nothing. I ain't going to jail. You do it. Click. These guys walking around, they go to the gun store. You should see them. I just be looking at them. I buy guns for sport and for cowards. Sport and cowards. Of course, I'm not going to sit up here and lie and say I'll just fight anybody because some people don't deserve a fair fight. That's just how I think. But... These guys be in a gun store. You should see them. Like, yeah, I man, I'd be wrecking with this. Why can't you wreck without it? Or matter of fact, why can't you solve your, your problems with words, shake the person's hand, and be done with it? These guys be holding grudges. I just talked to one of my old supervisors, right? And it's like, I don't trust him either. Because he just did some off the wall stuff. But. Like it's like he always tries to spin things. Like as you. So we talking. 
He bringing up all these people. Oh, man, you know, this person is like you, this person. So my response to it was, I never even got into it with this person. I never got into it with this person. I never, okay, this person, I got into it once, but that was just because he took what I had to say the wrong way. So he's bringing up all these people that didn't like me that I never even had like a conflict with like that. So I said, I, I said, it's because of that Trump stuff. That's all it is. And that's very childish. Because I voted for Trump. People, I don't like him. And then this is what's weird about people nowadays, man. Do you think I'm a little sleep? Because you don't like me? Do you think that I'm going to stop functioning because you don't like me? Why would you? What? I mean, what did you even accomplish by that? Not liking somebody. It don't matter who you don't like. It don't matter who I don't like. Especially people who don't like me. That's your prerogative. Like, I'm not going to stop doing anything that I'm doing or plan to do. Who is you? You think you a God or something? You ain't God. You ain't nowhere near no God. You trying to act. God himself created everything. You don't hear him. I don't, I don't, I don't like him. I don't like her. It don't matter. It don't matter who you like and who you don't. That's another reason why people be talking slick on these roads. Because they think it really matters who they like and who, don't, who they don't like. That's why people be talking slick at work. Because they think it matters who they like and who they don't like. You don't matter like that. And that's why a lot of people get divorced. Oh, you can't get along with nobody. Because you're trying to control people. You're being disrespectful. You you think it matters who you like and who you don't like. That's why that's why the divorce rate is going to continue to climb. That's why people is waking up on YouTube. They learning uh not to take these women too seriously. That I mean that's people is waking up, people coming out of the matrix. One of the ways you come out of the matrix is by not caring who don't like you. When you get to that point where you don't care who don't like you, when people reject you, you just say, okay, that's their business. You stop dealing with them. That's when you start coming, you starting to wake up. You're starting to come out of the matrix. When you see that you yourself need to make yourself knowledgeable, need to make yourself presentable, you need to make yourself smooth and self-controlled. You starting to wake up. You starting to come out of the matrix when you start developing these qualities. I'm not the same person I was at 22. Like, even at 22, I would shoot you quicker. But I wasn't going to just, I just didn't never believe in just, just wrecking stuff over dumb stuff. Now, if you shot at me first when I was 22, it don't matter how petty the conflict is. If you shot at one of the people I used to be friends with and I'm there, it didn't matter how petty the conflict was. But if it's a petty conflict, if we didn't fight none of that, like when I was 22, when I was younger, I would be like, man, forget, dude. Ain't nobody worried about him. He can't whoop me. It was even one guy that actually jumped. He was with all these guys. He actually was fighting me. I said, man, he no, he can't beat me. No, he can't fight. He only did that because all of them was around. And the next day, I said, if he don't squash it, I'm going to embarrass him in front of everybody. He came right up to me and apologized and squashed it and said, man, I thought you had something to do with it, blah, blah, blah. I was like, man, get that. Because he's a waste of time. He can't beat me. So why would I get him? And then like now we going back and forth with they, our our group going back and forth with theirs. It's a waste. And we all from the same neighborhood. That's dumb. That's how I looked at it. Like he know he can't beat me. I even told one of them, he know he can't. He can't beat nobody. Well, he could beat somebody. He, I mean, he actually could fight. He just was too little. 
But he was with all these people. One of them pulled out a gun. Everybody ran. I figure I ain't had nothing to do with it. So they ain't going to say nothing to me. And he said something to me. And he came right up to me trying to fight. I'm like, I am not finna fight him in front of all of them. I still fought him because he was making me mad. I had no choice. But when I started winning and I saw them, them kind of converging in, I looked over to the right and doop, he got me with a good one in the lip, bust my lip. That's when I got up out of there. And I told, uh, I told my, uh, my friends like, if he don't squash it today, I'm finna embarrass him. I waited literally till it was even numbers. He came up to me and apologized. Say, man, you know, I, you know, I'm sorry, man. I don't want to fight you. Don't fight me. Uh, I thought you had something to do with that. This, that, and the other. I said, man, forget that. Why can't people do that? Like, why can't people just say, okay, I know I got to get where I got to go. I'm going to leave early. You know what they do? They hit their alarm clock, snooze. Then come back around again, and I'm going to close this video up. It's too long. Snooze again. Now they, they rush, they, they on the freeway, 70, 80, 90 miles an hour. Somebody trying to get to this point they need to get to. They cussing them out like the little midget did. Uh, I ain't going to say midget. I apologize to anybody that's not tall. I apologize. I'm not talking about you. I'm, I apologize. This guy just, he's just an idiot. But I'm not putting no group of people down. But why can't you just leave a few minutes early? Why can't you just sleep later? Get some sleep later on. I don't mean sleep later because then you'll really be out here acting dumb. But get some sleep later on. Stop hitting the snooze button because then you're going to endanger everybody out here. And you guys on YouTube, if you're not going to show your face, don't be on there insulting people. Like, I can debate you without insulting. These people be, you don't know this. You're not smart enough. To, dude, you don't. That's I know you're not smart at all. If you judging somebody's intelligence that you don't even know, you're supposed to give people you don't know the benefit of the doubt. You on there judging people's level of intelligence just because they don't agree with you. That's ignorant, man. That's just ignorant, man. You no wonder the world, the United States is in shambles. It's in shambles. Y'all voted for these people and they done took the United States backwards. What do y'all have to say about that? huh? Yeah, you got a right to vote for who you want for. But you telling me the United States is better off? No. And y'all blame Trump with the 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 pandemic and the C thing. Okay, if it's his fault, then how is it getting worse? How is it getting worse? Are you lying? Are you lying or something? Because if it's his fault, you got rid of him. You cheated to get him out of well, excuse me, allegedly. And now, how is it his fault? You claim it's getting worse and you done created all this stuff to battle it. I already watched Bill Gates' little speech. I think it said, what, 435? Look at the four-minute mark of Bill Gates' innovation to zero speech. And tell me what you learned in the comments. But to sum this up, you internet courage, you internet brave guys, you road brave guys and girls, y'all need to stop it. Just stop it. Just cut it out. Learn how to get along. We not in kindergarten no more. People be having beards. They be 40, 50, 60 years old. 
You got a whole portfolio, everything. But yet, you can't get the simple things of life right. Come on now. Let's get better with this, man. Now, see y'all on the next video.